welcome back student today we are going to learn about the sql queries this is the last session for this chapter so in sql query we will learn how to create a table how to insert the record in the table how to fetch the records using select command from the table and how to use where clause within select command then we will learn about the logical operators there are three logical operators and or not how to use them in where condition like over here i have used the and operator then we can perform the calculation on the columns like i can increment the salary of each employee for 1000 if i put the minus sign it is going to be decremented by 1000 and if i multiply it by 2 it is going to be double if i divide it by 2 it is going to be half and if you wanted to do it for a particular employee then you can give the condition where employee name is this or employee code whatever the column or the columns are available whatever the condition you want to give then we will learn about the relational operators uh, if the values are repeating so it will give me distinct values from the column for example the salary of two or three employees could be same so if i want to find out the distinct salary from the table employee i will write distinct and then the name of the column from which i want the unique values then instead of this relational operator like i want to find out the salary between 40,000 50,000 so I can use the between operator how I am going to use it select a strict from employee where salary is between 40,000 and then order by clause is used to sort your data in ascending and descending order by default if you do not find any order it is ascending order and if you want to sort in descending order then you have to specify this keyword DSC that is descending sort the record or you can also have the condition over here like select a strict from employee where salary is between this and then you are sorting the records according to their name then we'll do update command delete alter so these command we are going to cover we have to start with creating the table so i'm deleting this table from this database and then we will create this table using sql command this option will be used only for the select command for rest of the commands you have to go to tools menu there you have sql so creating inserting updating alter delete all the commands will be executed through this one and select command will be executed through queries create query in sql so let's create the table create table after that you will write the name of the table so i'm giving it a name employee then the bracket will start this is the rounded bracket afterwards you will define your first column like e code is the name of the column the data type is the, i have given integer and this is going to be the primary key so wh whatever the column you want to define as primary key you will write at the end of defining the column name data type and lastly you will write primary key followed by comma then you will write the second column name which is e name the data type is where cat 10 so the maximum characters could be 10 then again a comma and last column is salary and i have given it decimal 5 you can give it number as well and then you'll close the bracket followed by the semicolon and then you have to click on execute so it will give you this status over here the message over here that your command is successfully executed now close this and go to tables are you able to find it no it is not there so for that you have to close window or you have to exit then you have will open it again so i'm going to open it again to see whether my table is here or not so right now my table is here now i'll double click it you can see these are the three columns that i have created and let's see the structure of the table as well so right click and click on edit whatever you have defined is over here e code is the primary key so you can see that this is a primary key the data type is integer e name is text where care and the maximum characters you have defined is 10 this is what you have written so accordingly your the structure of the table has been defined now to insert the record in the table we are going to use the insert command insert into the name of the table this is the name of my table then the bracket will start then you can define the name of the columns first column is e code comma second column is e name comma and the last column is salary bracket close then you will write values what values you want to insert so in e code 106 e name yash salary 35,000. Now, e name you can see I have given in single quotes. Why? Because this is a character value. It's not a number. So, whenever you define the character value, you will use the single quotes followed by semicolon. For inserting the records, again you go to tools menu. There again SQL. Click on execute and the command is successfully executed. Close it, open the table and see. Yes, it is inserted. So, here I am adding some more records. Now, let's see the records in the table. I have got all these records inserted into my table. After inserting the records, we have to fetch the data from the table. 
how we are going to fetch the data or take out the information out of the table, we are going to use the select command. Now this select asterisk from employee, if I write this command, all the details will be displayed. Now for running the SQL query select, we will use queries here. For select command, always go to queries and use create query in SQL. Here you will write the command. You click on run query, the shortcut key is F5. So you can see all the details, all the columns will be displayed. This is a table data and this is our query data. So everything is visible, same as it is given in the table. This is the table and this is the query. So select asterisk from employee. Asterisk means everything, each and every column. So I have three columns in my table. E code, E name, E salary. So I have three columns here. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Six records or tuples or rows are here. This all are displayed. Now, if you want to find out how many employees are getting salary more than 35,000 or between 35 to 45, so how we can do that? It is possible using where clause. But before we do the where clause, let's see if, if I want to select only the employee code and employee name, not the salary from the employee table, then this is the command which will help you to find out the data out of the given columns. I just want e code and e name. I do not want the salary. So this is going to be the command. What is the command? E code, the name of the column, then comma, then another column name from the table name and the table name is employee. And if I execute it, it will show me only the two columns. Select E code, E name, E salary from employee where salary is equals to 45,000. What is the criteria? What is the condition which you have given using where clause? The salary should be equals to 45,000. You want to find out only those employees. And what you want to uh, find out, the E code as well, E name, name of the employee and as well as the salary. So all the three columns data. Okay, let's see the data in the table. So how many of them have 45,000? 1, 2, 3. It is going to display the column E code, E name and salary. Click on this and here we got 1, 2, 3, 4 employees are there whose salary is equals to 45,000. These are all relational operator where you are comparing the value. Salary equals to 45,000, less than 45,000, greater than 45,000, less than equal to 45,000, greater than equal to 45,000. These all are relational operators. So if I say salary is greater than 45,000, there is no record here. You can see in this table. So if I run this, I won't get any record. Less than, I have so many. So if I execute, I'll get two rows. See, I have written all the column name over here. Instead of writing all the column name, I could have written asterisk as well. So let's try this with the asterisk. Am I getting the same result? Asterisk means each and every column. So if I click on this, I should have the same result. Yes. So instead of writing all the columns, if you are displaying all the columns, use asterisk. And if you want some specific column like E code and E salary or E name E salary, then you have to specify those column name, E name and salary. So it will display only these two columns out of the three columns, right? Now these were the numeric values where we have used the relational operator. Now in case of alphabets, we have to use these single quotes. Like I want to find out the details of the employee whose name is Ivan. So this is the command. See the requirement of the table there is no E1 over here and if I run this command I should not get any of the results. So if I run it for bunch again I should not get any record. Let's change it for yes. I have three records. This is how you can use the alphabet to find out the value. For using the alphabet values you have to use the single code. You have to enclose the alphabetic values within the single code. Now you can combine the two condition using logical operators. There are three logical operators and or and not. If I have to combine two conditions over here like I want to find out details of the employee whose name is Ivan and the employee code is 103. So here I have to combine two conditions then I am using and and both the conditions should be true only then you will be getting the record. These are the records. I am going to change it for Yash where the E name is Yash but E code is 103. Is there, is there any one? Yes. 101, 103, 106. I'm going to change the record. I'm going to make it 105. So this condition is false, right? There is no one with the name Yash and the code is 105. 105 is one sheet. So this is false. There should not be any record displayed. Yes, it is there. Now if I change it to 103, this condition is true. E name is Yash, that is also true. So it is going to display this record out of the table, right? 
So this is how you can combine the condition using the logical operators and or not. Now instead of and, if I'm using or, so what this or means? If any of the condition is true, I have two conditions, e name yes, e code one zero three. Any of the condition is true, it should give me the record. And if both the conditions are true, then definitely it will give the record, right? So now over here both the conditions are true, so it's going to give me this record as well. And c, the name is one yes and yes, but e code is one zero one and 106 which is not true but this condition is true in every case that's why i have got three records now we have not operator i'm writing any name which is not existing in this table where e name is not equal to this is the not equal to sign not equal to and because it is e name alphabetic value so i will give the value in single quotes followed by semicolon and let's give the name so what is the command the command is you will find the employee's detail from the table employee where e name is not equal to one. So this condition is going to give you all the records because this condition is false. There is no employee with the name Anu and when the condition is false, every record is displayed. Okay, if I write Yash, there are three records with the name Yash. So these three records will not be there, right? Rest of the records will be there. We have done the relational operators. This is all for this video and we are going to cover the rest of the commands in the next video. So tune into my channel, watch all the videos and subscribe and share.